Okay, if you're anything like me, you might have been a little scared of an Instant Pot. I have not even wanted one since they've been out, but y'all, I finally got one for Christmas, and I can tell you, I have been loving it the last couple weeks. So I figured if you're in the same boat as me and you're a little bit intimidated by the Instant Pot, I would start out and show you some of the recipes I have made first with my Instant Pot. Instant Pot recipes, perfect for beginners. So if you just got an Instant Pot or you have one and it's been stored in the back of your pantry, bring it out and let me show you three simple recipes. All right, if you have an Instant Pot and you have not made just some chicken breast in there, you need to do this, this is so simple. You can start out with frozen chicken breast like I am today or fresh, works the exact same way. So we're just gonna start out by placing our chicken breast down in our Instant Pot with the trivet. Next, I'm gonna season pretty liberally. I'm just using my Auntie Nono's Everything Seasoning, but just use any type of neutral or house seasoning that goes with a lot of different things. After that, we're just gonna add one cup of chicken broth to the bottom of our Instant Pot, and that is it. You will be amazed at how tender this chicken is. My kids just love it. So we're gonna add our lid back on. We're gonna time this for 12 minutes. If you're using frozen, it will be a couple minutes longer than fresh. I'll have all the instructions for all that down in my description box below. But we're gonna time that 12 minutes on high pressure. We're gonna let our Instant Pot come up to pressure. We'll cook the 12 minutes and then we want it to natural release. I have learned from research while doing this that anytime you're doing meat in here, you really want it to natural release because if you do the quick release, it's gonna cause your meat to kind of be a little tough on you. So once that is all complete, we're gonna open it up and just look at this chicken. It is so beautiful. And the best part about this is you have your chicken prepped. You can do so many different things with this. My husband and I are gonna have this for our meal prep for the next couple days for lunches. I just added some buffalo sauce to ours, but you could add this to soups on top of salads pastas have your chicken ready for your casseroles for the week whatever it is that you're going to make this chicken is an absolute must make and it's going to help you out in so many different ways all you have to do is shred up your chicken with two forks as you can see it easily just falls right apart pop this in the fridge and you will have your chicken or your protein for the week already done this is by far one of my most favorite things I've been doing in my Instant Pot over the last couple weeks. The thing everybody suggested I make was spaghetti. And let me just tell you, everybody was right. If you have not tried Instant Pot spaghetti, I promise you're gonna change the way you make spaghetti from here on out. So first, we're just gonna brown up one pound of ground beef right in the Instant Pot on that saute function. This is probably my favorite part of the spaghetti. Seriously, all in one pot. Next, I'm just gonna season up my meat. Do that however you want. And then one big tip I have for you, you wanna add just a splash of water in here at the end and kind of scrape up any bits that may have been stuck when you're browning up your meat. That's just so you don't get that burn notice on your Instant Pot. Next, we're gonna add in one box of spaghetti and this half cut spaghetti from the store. It seems lazy, but it actually works perfectly for this Instant Pot spaghetti. We're gonna add in the entire pound right on the ground beef and we're just gonna kind of layer it in a crisscross pattern. And this is so your noodles don't stick together. Also, I forgot to mention, if you do have a fattier ground beef, you'll want to drain it, but I'm just using a lean ground beef, so I really don't even have to worry about that at all. So I'm gonna add in all of my spaghetti noodles. Then we're gonna add one jar of pasta sauce. Next, I'm gonna fill that jar up with about half a jar of water, shake it up to remove any of that extra pasta sauce, pour that in, and then pour on an additional three cups of water. Once you have everything in your Instant Pot, you are not gonna stir this at all. The main thing is you wanna make sure your noodles are completely covered in that liquid. We're gonna add the lid back on, and this is gonna cook on high pressure for only seven minutes. 
It'll take 10 minutes or so for the Instant Pot to come up to pressure. I do have it set to sealing, and then you can actually quick release on spaghetti. I just let mine natural release for a few minutes and then did the quick release. And once you open your lid, it's gonna look a little bit watery, but do not fear, it's supposed to. You have not had a chance to stir everything up, and once you do, all your starches from that pasta is gonna make this spaghetti thicken up so wonderfully. It is a perfect consistency. And let's just take a second to appreciate this all in one pot. Seriously, we browned our meat, we added our sauce, we cooked our noodles right in here, no draining. Oh my goodness, I just love a true one pot meal. And also the best thing about doing an Instant Pot spaghetti is it kinda infuses all of that sauce and all those flavors into your noodles a little bit more and you really can tell how flavorful this is. If you want to get a little bit fancy, do this fancy garlic bread. Y'all know how I do with my hot dog and my hamburger buns. This meal is so good. Another Instant Pot staple that I knew I wanted to make were Instant Pot baked potatoes. These take half the time as regular oven baked potatoes and they are just as, if not more tender. So I'm just doing two russets today. I have my trivet in my Instant Pot. I have washed these really well and then I'm just gonna pierce them with a fork all over. You'll see at the end, they tried to bust apart on me so I should have pierced them a few more times, but that's okay. And then next you're gonna add one cup of cold water. That's the trick, you wanna make sure it's cold water. And then we're just gonna cook these on high pressure about 16 minutes. Now, of course, it's gonna depend on how big your potatoes are, how long you cook them, but anywhere from 12 minutes for a small to medium, up to 20 minutes if you have a really big one. This is going to natural release, and then you have the most perfect baked potato. Of course, you can serve it up just like this, or you can add a little bit of olive oil and sea salt, pop it in the oven just to on broil for just a few minutes to get that skin crispy, but I didn't even do that on this night. We just added some butter, you could add whatever toppings you want, and this is a perfect complement to any weeknight dinner. You don't even have to heat up your oven and it takes way less time. If you have not tried an Instant Pot baked potato, that is your homework this week. You are going to love it. Let me know what your favorite thing is to cook in your Instant Pot or if this video inspired you to maybe start cooking a little bit more in yours. Also, there's a video right here on the screen that I think you'll enjoy. So head over there, I'll see you over there and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.